And so they brought us this man, this man of the people, this, uh, the one they call him. <laughs> Alex Gray, they even made a painting of him. They say he's the savior, the great one, the messiah. Barack Hussein Obama. Now I thought this very curious. Actually, that Spider-Man episode went for $500 on the first day that came home. But I found it very interesting just to his name, you know, Barack Hussein. Wasn't that Israel and Islam? And I, I know how these guys are, and they're symbolic gestures, and I haven't quite figured out Obama yet, but I see this dichotomy that they're putting together, because he's a black and a white man. He's Barack and he's Hussein. Well, if you look into the name Barack, you find that it actually means lightning in Hebrew. And so if you were to go to the Bible and look at Satan and say, it says Satan fell like Barak. Because <laughs> Barak means lightning and Satan fell like lightning. Or if you look a little deeper into his name, and you know, they of course call him the super elite, the new global elite, because they want you to know your place. But you look into his name, his name also is the name of Muhammad's horse. Now, one question, a court case has come up and it has gone before the Supreme Court. Barack Obama's citizenship, these are the facts. The Constitution requires the president to be a natural born citizen. Obama's grandmother said she was there when Barack was born in Kenya. Obama refuses to release his original birth certificate. Instead of a birth certificate, Obama's campaign posted a certification given to those born abroad. Experts have called even that document an obvious forgery. Obama attended school in Indonesia as Barry Sotoro, when only Indonesian citizens were permitted to attend. Obama's school records list his father as Lolo Sotoro, and Obama's citizenship as Indonesian. Obama traveled to Pakistan in 1981, when it was illegal to enter as a U.S. citizen. 16 lawsuits and two cases before the Supreme Court now challenge Obama's citizenship. Fact, our Constitution still matters. So Obama, nobody knows who he is. You know, we're required to give our social security card to get a driver's license in America, and this guy doesn't even have to bring out his uh, birth certificate. But it's all for a reason. It's a big show. It's prestidigitation or stage magicians that are trying to wrap up the spell. And so now there's billboards going up around America saying, show me the birth certificate. And they're going to get a race riot and a political riot storming. They're doing all these type of things just as they have done to you, just as they are telling the people in, in England that, well, the members of parliament have been misspending their money. Duh. You <laughs> Who doesn't fuck the system, right? I mean, we all do, and they do, you know? And uh, what it is, is they're trying to get you angry, because uh, Barack Obama, now uh, he came over, and, and Gordon Brown, he, he went over to see Barack and have a little talk, and they said, nah, <laughs> go home. I don't know if you guys remember that. But they just all uh, blew him off. So then uh, the Browns get together, and they're like, well, you know, let's get the Obamas a nice gift. They're gonna be really good. And uh, they make them this pen box out of a special, very special boat known as the Astute, or the Gannet. And these are the two sister ships that were involved in uh, this uh, slave war. And then there's a desk made out of the Astute in the palace and a desk made in the White House from these two ships. If you've ever seen National Treasure, it's a big deal in there. And these two boats. So they took this boat and they made Obama a pen box out of it. And it was a uniquely historical gift. I mean, there was one of a kind. And Obama said, oh, thanks. Here's 25 DVDs, man. <laughs> I really did know that Gordon Brown didn't really have the best eye. And also, his DVDs were not in PAL format. So <laughs> <laughs> what is he trying to say? Now, personally, I think this is all stage magic. This is all for our reaction, just as 9-11 was just for our reaction. And they're trying to make America look cheap. i would use a different word, but it seems to be a racial slur. But this is what they're doing, and they're doing this on, on purpose, and they're trying to make the British dislike the Americans. 
And they are saying these things, and, and everybody's wondering, well, you know, where is Obama from? And he gave us an answer. Obama's actually from another planet, the planet Krypton. <laughs> now this might not be that far from the truth. Uh, so I, I began looking into it and I found many connections to suggest that Barack might be the Antichrist. But I don't believe in that type of belief system. I don't really think of things that way, but I think they're playing him up as the Antichrist. Because his name, Barack, being connected to Satan, and that he, he, he jokes quite a bit about where he's from or who he is. He rides around in the beast. That's the name of his limo, limousine. Uh, and I think they're trying to push this concept that he might be the Antichrist because they want these type of uh, attacks and wars going on. And then they, they I, I feel that they encode these Antichrists so that uh, when Hitler came to power. Of course, we had the 666 symbol or the W symbol that was uh, the encoding of the dark side of the magic. And then he was an antichrist in their power play. He was, uh, you know, an action to bring about a reaction. Well, the symbol's just the same. When you look into the swastika, the swastika is a solar symbol. It's a symbol of the sun. The canting of the swastika is a symbol that represents the circling of the altar in a Masonic lodge, and this is why they canted it. It's the symbol of their son of the sun, the one that they're looking for. But when you look at Obama's solar symbol, it's the same meaning as Hitler's. And I posted this poster up on MySpace, and they yanked it within five minutes. And they told me, we can't have sex or violence on MySpace. I actually do have sex and violence on my MySpace, but not in this one. Well, the very next day, there was news that hit the stands. And it was that they had coupled the Boy Scouts with Homeland Security. Maybe I knew too much too soon? <laughs> I don't know. They have Rom Israel Emmanuel announcing that we're going to have this uh, youth brigade and now they have hired and coupled the Boy Scouts, which is a Freemasonic organization known by the Fleur de Lis and the Arrow of Light, uh, to couple with the Homeland Security to deal with veterans that might be upset with what they're about to do. But I was still curious, who is this man and what is going on? Now we have Warner Von Braun talking about a space war coming and Obama was heralded by a comment. There was a comment just after the election that came through a meteor and Edmonton, Canada, that many were saying, well, this might be a symbol of Barack being the Antichrist. Well, there's a prophecy by Nostradamus that states that Mavis will come following the comet and then death, destruction, and the Antichrist. Guess who Obama put in charge of the Space Command? Ray Mavis, the very man that Nostradamus was predicting to lead the Antichrist. And then we're looking at the picture and we're wondering, okay, who is this man, Barack Obama? We still don't know. Is he from Krypton? When we started to look into the, the neuro-linguistic programming he was using, and he would say to us, well, yes, we can. We can get there. I continually wondered, well, where are we going and what do you mean that we can get there? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Stop that. Okay, this is a straight reversal. I've done nothing to manipulate this audio. Yes, we can. 